What's up, guys? Find our next project. This is a uh, it's, it's an Articat Ramrod. Uh, I think these were really made from 1970 to like 73. It's in pretty uh, pretty bad shape, but it, it's got it's got a lot going for it. it. Has both front and rear wheels, but it's all you know. Most of it's here. The front and rear brakes are here. It's got the front fender. I don't know if these are original handlebars are really loose. Maybe we'll tighten up. But this is uh, this is my next project. We're gonna see if we can't put this thing back on the trails. I got a bunch of parts coming, but uh, I don't know. Let's just uh, let's just get started, I guess. Okay. Well, I've got some stuff. I've been. Uh, Digging through my hoard, I found these shocks, which according to this other shock, it's about the same length. They're a little bigger, which is probably fine. And then, like I said, there's supposed to be a jack shaft here. So I have this, which is some um, key shaft. This came off the van cart project. This isn't going to be on there, but it's kind of stuck. I gotta clean it up. And here's some uh, here's some pillow block bearings I got. They're adjustable. They got locks. These don't quite fit, but I think if I just uh, hog this out a little bit inside, maybe I don't know. These might not work, but this is what I have on hand. So first thing I want to do is try to get these shocks on, just so because it's so hard to push around with this thing. It just flops. Oh, kind of tries to pinch your fingers. So let's uh, get this thing turned around and see if we can get these shocks mounted. Fourteen millimeter. Get this old shock off. I couldn't find one to match it, so I had to find a. Okay, that was a tool bag. It's fine. I had to find a a pair that were good to replace them. So hopefully, these two I have will work. So this one, this from the inside, no, it's got a little bit smaller hole there. No, I can't do that because this has the bolt on there. Might have to put a spacer. Let's see if I can find a bolt just to mock this up. All right. Well, the other sock had a had a bolt in it. So these were on the inside. We'll see I'm gonna mount them on the outside because these shocks aren't exactly ideal, and I think I might have, like I said, I might have to space this out with some washers or something. 
Well, not too bad. So far, so good. So let me get a couple of bolts. I'm going to find a bolt for this side. Get this side mocked up and just see what it looks like. Okay, well, I found some bolts. Um, I had to do a little bit of modifying to get these uh, bigger bolts through, but <clears throat> just went up a couple of sizes with a Christmas tree bit. So, it seems pretty good. Um, I'm liking it so far. I kind of want to get it down on the ground and sit on it. I've never, I've never seen it like this. It's always been collapsed and in the corner of the property here. Okay, got her down on the ground here. I think, yeah, these shocks are set to their softest setting. So it might be a little squishy. So let's just see. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, these are super loose. I don't know why. It's like they're stripped or something. I don't know. There we go. Ramrod, me. Well, that's cool. What next? I don't even know. Let's see if I can get those uh, pillow block bearings to fit on here. Okay, just back up on the table. Our next dilemma is these pillow block bearings, which I want to use. Uh, maybe I might not. I might get some of those uh, cast iron ones later. But these ones, you know, why not? So I think what I have to do have some ways to go. But I might just take these things uh, and drill them out a little bigger. And then, you know, put washers on them or something. We'll see. If that doesn't work, I might have to just order some pillow blocks online. But let's just try. It's the worst thing I can do. It's always steel. I can always weld it back up if I ruin it. Danger games. That's bigger. A little sizzly on my finger. Woo! Just keep doing that till it slips over. Okay, what I've ended up doing is I drilled these out to, I don't know if you can read that, it's uh, 9 sixteenths, which seems a little excessive to me, but I think I, what I might end up doing is once it's uh, on here, I might weld a washer, is this in frame, and once it's on here, I might just weld a washer on it, but that seems to be what it takes to just barely get those on there. I was looking at pictures of uh, this thing on eBay, on uh, eBay, on uh, on the Google machine, and this is the style of jack shaft these things had. So I think I'm just going to make these work. You know, the, the nut might be really tight, but yeah, this is this is what we have to work with. A little tiny bit of movement, which will be good for adjustment. So I'm going to drill. <coughs> sorry, I'm going to drill this other one out. I'm not sure. I'm trying to see if I, uh, I think this might be the box that this came in. I got this, I think, from um, Track, not Tracker Supply. I have a place called North 40 near me, but I think you can get something like this at hardware stores. So let me drill this one out, and uh, we'll get it on there, and uh, we'll move on to something else. Well, there they are. I wanted to get this done first just to make sure that I knew these would work. And like I said, it'll be tight in here, but there's sheet metal. I might be able to just make it work with brute force. <laughs> yeah, and these, like I said, these have these locking collars that uh, they're kind of cammed, which are kind of neat. And then somewhere over here. I have this, which is the uh, jack shaft material I'm going to use. 
I gotta get the, I gotta take it apart a little better, but so there's that. I think what I want to do next is um, this front tire doesn't spin, and I think I want to try to take it off and see what's the deal with that. Very stable. harder than I thought. Where'd my other wheel shim go? It's gone. Great. Okay. Yeah. This I think is uh, I think this is our culprit is these brakes are just okay. It's fine. The brakes are a little jammed up. I'm kind of worried about what it looks like in here because uh, this thing being a 70s mini bike is a little more elaborate than most since it has front and rear brakes. This might be nightmarish to find parts for. I hope this stuff's okay in here. Well, that's what you want to find but you know what I might have this exact set of brakes somewhere yeah these are not any good they come off they're not centered anymore you know I think these are actually a pretty common brake shoe Looks like somebody tried to glue it. I guess you can use JB Weld. Hmm. Well, that's great. That's a nice uh, surprise. I wonder what the back brakes look like. This thing, I don't know. It sat outside for probably. 20 plus years. I have no idea. I got it from a friend of mine. And I don't think he even know where it came from. It just was something on his property. Oh, don't breathe that stuff, Wes. Yeah, this stuff, this should clean up. And if I get a new set of brake shoes... Well, I'm gonna have to start making a list. Looks like this tire is pretty bad, but I think I have one up there. Might have to get two tires for this thing. But, oh well. At least now I know. So I'm just gonna just put that back on there and act like I didn't see nothing. And now I know I need to get some brake shoes. Okay, well, I dug out my go-kart box, and these brakes I thought I had, they're from a four-wheeler. They're too small. But with a quick uh, Google search, 
I found that these are uh, four inch four inch brake shoes and that happens to be the same as uh, GY6 scooter I found a couple they're like eleven twelve dollars I probably just end up getting both and um, that way they're they're both good It'd be nice to have you know front and rear brakes on this thing that'd be kind of neat to get them both working uh, there's a lot of cleanup work here needs to be done this is super rusty but I think I can just kind of take a wire wheel and maybe some sandpaper and clean that up but um, I think that's where I'm gonna end off this video we're just kind of trying to get an idea of where what direction we're gonna go with this thing what we need to get um, and I think I know now um, of course um, I'm going to have to put an engine on here so I have a couple of options and uh, we'll go over that later <clears throat> the belly pan uh, it's just totally wrecked I don't know I might be able to repair it I might just end up cutting it out and building another one but uh, yeah all right guys we're in the episode here it's going to be part one of the Articat Ramrod. Uh, thank you guys all for watching, liking, and subscribing. Um, I'm going to get back in the swing of making videos again. And uh, also the van cart is, uh, I still want to continue on the van cart. But it's kind of, I, it's too big to fit in here. I have to do that outside. And it's, I still got some more snow needs to melt off. And I don't know, I'll show you maybe the next video. All right, well, uh, that's it. You guys take it easy. Oh, oh, oh.